Well, good afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, just finished cooking dinner, man. I, look, I, I don't know if I look any better. I don't know if I look any better, but I tell you what, I feel better. I have lost 15 pounds in the last seven weeks doing keto, and I've been cooking live on my cooking and tailgating with Joe Boo. And shout out to some of the great members out there that have been following along that are doing the same thing and losing weight. We are going to get in shape. We're going to make sure we live longer because the reality is we, as Dallas Cowboy fans, we are. That's right. We are held hostage at the whim of a madman. We are loyal. We are so loyal. To the Dallas Cowboys, you know, we we, we, we spend our money I, I, every day. Every day, you know, you know how much I'm here. Every day talking about the Dallas Cowboys from the time I get up in the morning till before I go to bed and spend the wonderful time with my wife. I am here talking about the Dallas Cowboys. And some people have been telling me that it seems like I've been getting a little flustered, that I've been getting a little bit edgy, a little bit upset. And that is... 100% accurate. I, I, I think I'm actually at the point where one of these days I'm just going to come down here. It's just going to be, I'm just going to literally explode because the Cowboys drive me crazy. Now, at least this story is not something that the Cowboys have done. This is craziness right here. This is, you know, This is actually sad about what's going on here. Now, you know, there's always three sides to every story. There's your side, there's my side, and somewhere in the middle lies the truth. And when people tell their stories, generally speaking, they're going to shade it to looking the best they can for themselves. We all do it. You might leave out a few pieces here that might make you look like you're in a bad light and things. Because that's the way it is. We won't ever really know what happened in Tampa Bay leading up to Antonio Brown walking off on the field. The problem for Antonio Brown is there's scorched earth that is following behind him with things that have happened from the Steelers to the Raiders to New England and then to Tampa Bay, not to mention for people that have done work for him and different allegations and different clips that we've seen on TMZ. But here's the thing that's kind of funny, because I mentioned Antonio Brown. Okay, maybe paint. could be paint. Um, I mentioned Antonio Brown yesterday and the day before, I believe on my live stream, because I was saying the way that Amari Cooper is being treated, he's being treated worse than Antonio Brown. And you look at what's happened and transpired with Antonio Brown. I dare say that some people, when they hear this, Cowboy fans will say, oh, hell yeah. Get that guy. Bring him in. We need that guy. You see, you, man, you see what that guy can do, man? Yeah. Get rid of Amari Cooper because this guy, man, that guy's a baller. Yeah. Well, Antonio Brown, if you don't know, he literally – walked off the field in the middle of a game, took off his shoulder pads, threw his shirt, threw it in the crowd, and just basically, hey, I'm out of here. So today he was on the podcast, The Pivot. And here's what's transpired with Antonio Brown. Let, let's play the clip. The plan is to get back to the game in a position that no one ever been. Maybe Jerry Jones think he looks sexy that I'm putting out all this motivation and all this hard work and encouragement. Maybe you want to harness some of that energy. Hold up. Let, me let, let me play that again. The plan is to get back to the game in a position that no one ever been. Maybe Jerry Jones think it looks sexy that I'm putting out all this motivation and all this hard work and encouragement. Maybe you want to harness some of that energy. Hold up. Little sexy. Maybe Jerry Jones, little sexy. Want to harness some of that energy. 
You mean with like a straight jacket? Because that's what I think it would take with Antonio Brown. But I know what's going to happen. I know what's going to happen with some of you guys out there. Hell yeah, let's go get Antonio Brown, man. Shit, man. Yeah, he, that's a baller here, man. That's a baller that sadly, I think, has some real issues. Some serious issues that need to be addressed. I don't know if it's CTE. Maybe he just had some craziness that was always there and it's just been amplified. Maybe, you know, after having all the hype of being Antonio Brown and doing the things he's done on the field, that it's all gone to his head. But there is no way, no how, you bring Antonio Brown. This is literally scorched earth when you talk about the wake of things that have happened. Remember, Antonio Brown is a guy who got frostbite in his feet in July from a hyperbolic chamber or something. Couldn't work out because he had frostbite on his feet. Remember the whole thing about the helmets with the Raiders that he was like, nah, I got to have my old helmet. You mean the helmets that the NFL said aren't safe and cause brain damage? You were fighting hand over fist that you had to have your old school helmet that the NFL would no longer certify. Maybe the NFL should have changed those helmets a little sooner because this ain't right. This ain't right. But we are the Dallas Cowboys, and, of course, anytime anybody gets released or needs a job, we ultimately say the Cowboys should try and get them. Why? Not because they'll help the Cowboys. Because it gives us something to talk about. It's about the clicks, people. It's about the clicks. Antonio Brown, I don't know what's up with that. Especially with that, is that a butterfly? Is that a cartoon butterfly? What that? that I, I, I'm trying to understand what that chain is. It looks like a butterfly with like a comic character, comic book character on it. Oh, well. All right, good people. I hope you're having a good day. It's been kind of an uneventful day. Um, for the Cowboys, we're hearing that the deal is close with Michael Gallup, and I've got some stuff and some thoughts um, that I, what I believe, I believe um, we will be getting a former Steeler receiver, but it won't be Antonio Brown. I would be surprised if Juju was not a Dallas Cowboy, but I'm going to go into that thought process a little bit later. Right now, I'm just going to deal with the craziness that is Antonio Brown. I'm Mark Holmes, and, well, you know what you need to do? (laughs) (laughs) Sit your ass down and watch us here on the Joe Boo Sports Report. And um, one final thought as we get out of here, let's get rid of Antonio Brown. We're getting close to the NFL draft, and you know what that means. I fire Howie. Fucking fire him. Motherfucker! Stupid motherfucker! What an idiot! What an idiot! Dallas has Amore Cooper and Gallup, but we don't need a receiver! Are you kidding me? I don't want Justin Jefferson, he's ass! Stupid. I fire his ass. I fire his ass. I mean, how he's got to be stupid. What are you doing? You just let Dallas take him. You 